Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be drawing some crystals and then painting them with watercolors. So I started off with actually drawing them and I sped through this pretty quickly because I didn't think it was all that interesting. And how I drew these is I looked up multiple references of crystal shards on Google and Pinterest and things like that. And then I took multiple ideas from different pictures and mashed them together into one bit here. And then I took a kneaded eraser and erased all of the loose graphite that was on the drawing. And then over top of that, there were, this lines were still faint so I could still see it. And over top of it, I went in with some masking fluid and covered up the lines so later on they would be nice and white when I removed them after painting. And now I'm starting to do the actual painting here. So as you can see at the top there, I have some of my own polished fluorite that I kind of use as a reference for the colors here. And for actually painting this, I only used three different colored paints. Gosh, do you see this texting on the job and painting at the same time? How rude! Anyways, so I only used three different colors and the exact paint colors will be listed in the description, but I used two different greens and then a purple for it. And so I started off with a lighter green, just adding a little bit of shadow here and there. And then went in with purple and for the most part here I used a wet into wet technique because that makes these like really nice starburst type effects which look pretty realistic for a crystal, I would say. And for this, I'm using a pretty tiny brush so I can get this, these small little dots and details in there. And overall, I feel like I went a little bit too dark with the colors if you can if you look up pictures of floor it is quite clear and it isn't all that colorful so there's a lot more clear spots but i felt like that would be too boring so i added much more color and made it a little more saturated than in real life And as you can see there, there's kind of a frame around the painting right now. And so I originally wanted to do kind of like a cameo with a portrait in the middle and then a black around it and then a fancy frame or something. But I didn't feel like drawing a person. So I decided to draw this. And then by the end, I thought a more simple background would look much better with it since it's already so flashy, I guess. And so I ended up scrapping entirely my original idea and did totally something different. So that's how that evolved. And so I discovered that when mixing the darker green and a purple, you get this really, really amazing, beautiful, I cannot tell you enough how amazing this beautiful navy color is right here. And I added that to like the base of the crystal so it looked like it was growing out of some kind of dirt area rock thing. And I love that color so much, I'm going to be using it so much now that I discovered how to make it. And it's amazing, you should try it sometime. I cannot say enough. And for the base there, I used some stippling motions, um, little making little dots. So it wouldn't be so smooth and it would look more rough like an actual rock. And now here around the edges, I'm making a gradient from the corners with, again, that navyish blue-purple color. Mm -hmm. 
and I thought that framed it quite nicely rather than the circle that or oval I had around it beforehand. And now I will be removing the masking fluid from the crystals and this literally took almost half an hour for all of it and I painstakingly erased every little bit. And so I tried multiple times to do this and the best way I found was with the edge of an eraser. That way it wouldn't rip up the paper. And so I skipped through that because I thought it would be pretty boring to watch me do that. And now I'm adding in some details with a white gel pen. I added in some highlights first to make the crystals look a little lighter in some spaces. And now I'm adding little dots to make it look like it's kind of glowing or there's sparkles coming out of it, you know, magical crystals, that cool effect. And then as I was doing this, I was dotting it away so it wouldn't look quite so fake. And now I'm using a silver jelly roll to add some sparkles. And I mainly did this in the dark navy portions. And I thought it was really missing something, so I decided to outline the outer crystals in, again, that silver pen color. And I thought that was the perfect final touch and really brought it all together. And so that is all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Subscribe for more! Okay. <laughs> Make sure to get it in the camera. <laughs>